Hey, what's up, guys? This is Jason with RC Offroad Racing. Thanks for tuning in. All right, yeah, it looks really messy here, don't it? Um, I've been working really hard on uh, trying to get this nitro buggy ready for the first race. Or also, I'm sorry, I guess it'll be my first nitro race. But we have a uh, race here at WCRC on the 4th of January. Um, the weather's been really crappy lately. You know, I'm, I'm hoping that we'll have good weather that weekend. Um, I'm off that weekend, so I will be able to attend if it, the, if the race does happen to go down. You know, the weather's been so bad lately. I'm sure the track is just like really so, uh, soggy and waterlogged right now. You know, when it's cold like this, the the uh, the puddles will hang around for weeks. You know, so anyway, all right. So this is where I'm at. Um, I've been working really hard trying to get this thing. I've been working a lot too. I've been uh, out of the last eleven or uh, fourteen days. I've worked eleven, twelve hour days, which is great. You know, so I can have uh, give my family a great Christmas this year, which will be awesome. But all right, so guys, let's take a look. All right, so I went ahead and uh, put the ser some servos I had. I, that's a Tower Pro. Um, what's it say? Nine five eight Digi. Dig it's a digital. Um, you know, like 20 kilograms uh, servo, and that's the JX, uh, what is it, 6021, I think. Anyway, it's a pretty good servo. I'm sorry, actually, no, that's not a 6021. That's the, um, what is it, I think it's 6015. It's um, pretty quick, actually, for, you know, it was like a $15 servo. But these are things I had laying around. When I got this buggy, the guy threw in this ProTech uh, 1600 milliamp hour um, nickel metal pack. Uh, receiver pack for an extra 10 bucks so i went ahead and took it it's brand new um i had a little issue when i first was trying to uh get it to work i was you know i was charging it i was charging it at 1.5 amps and uh it would only charge like 200 milliamps uh and it cut off you know say it's full so um you know it wouldn't la it would last like for a minute or two to run the servos so uh, I just figured, I, you know, I started trying to look into it, and uh, like nickel metal batteries, I've, you know, I've never been in, uh, used them since I've started uh, RC recently, past couple of years. Uh, you know, I, I used them in an old, uh, old car I had when I was a kid, but uh, apparently, you know, they're, they're really finicky with about charging and stuff. So I started uh, charging it at five, point uh, five amps, and it got up to about, you know, fourteen hundred milliamps. So. I think it is going to be good. Um, I don't think it's you know, going to have any major problems. I've used it uh, since then, and it, you know, it works well. So I am definitely going to get a lipo eventually. Uh, I need to get the servos to uh, you know the high voltage servos. I know this JX will run on high voltage because I've ran it before. The other one, it probably will too. I'm sure it will until it you know maybe it'll burn it. I don't know. All right. Um, all right, so the things I'm waiting on now, um, I've ordered a motor or engine. It's a RB Concepts .21 five port. That's all I really know about it. Uh, I know RB Concepts hasn't been making motors for you know, five or six years now, I think. So you know, I don't know. I got a, I, the guy offered me a great deal, so I took it. Um, if I ever need to rebuild it, I might have trouble finding parts, but. It'll probably just be my, uh, you know, kind of like my stepper motor to get me into it, and then I'll, you know, get something better and, uh, you know, nicer, uh, you know, whenever I, you know, build a, a nitro buggy. If I decide that I, I enjoy racing nitro, which I'm almost 100% sure I will, I mean, what's there not to like about it? All right, so once the motor comes in, I'll need to get a pipe. Um, I think it has a clutch. I need to get a clutch bell for it. I'm gonna need to get the fuel, I'm gonna need to get the glow plugs. And um, a few other things uh, that came with it was, uh, I got this bump box, which is 100 pieces right now. And uh, I got some questions about the wire, I'm gonna go over here in just a minute, but, um, you know, I do have all the pieces to it. It does need the, the plates uh, for fitment, you know, which I'll probably, I'm not sure what I'll do. I'll probably look and try to find them, see, you know, if I can find them. Um, if not, I will just, you know, make some sort of brackets of my own. It'll work until I can get them. So, or maybe you know, a guy I talked to at the uh, hobby shop, uh, Keith, he was telling me I should probably just go ahead and get a, a new one. So I got something reliable, which I probably will. But for now, we're going to do this the cheapest way we can and get into uh, night to get into nitro. So.
All right, so the few pieces that I am missing, I need to get a motor. This is a 540 motor, which some of them will run on dual 540 motors. And there's probably bump boxes that run on a single 540. They're probably for like a, you know, point, point 0.12 or something. I really don't know, but, um, so I got the, I got a 775 on the way. And, um, you know, I have, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run probably, I'm gonna run probably, you know, these older lipos that, uh, that I got a couple months ago that neither one of them are really very good lipos but you know they have a high internal resistance so they don't really perform at their top ability so you know I'm gonna use those for the bump box as long as you know it works which I believe it will also real quick shout out to Jack Wu from a Wanfi lipo or Wanfi batteries uh, he sent me a replacement for this one which you know I, it just it has a it's actually all the cells now are bad originally it had one bad cell that was reading really high on internal resistance and then after i you know i ran it cycled it a time or two uh, all of the cells are reading at like 25 plus so or 20 20 plus something like that so he sent me a brand new one good looking out man really appreciate that i got the sticker on the side of uh my low sea buggy i'm gonna be getting a uh i, I will be getting a, a wanfi uh receiver pack for my low C3. Uh, and lastly, the last thing uh, that I want to go over um, with you guys, ask you guys about it, which I, you know, I figured out what I'm going to do, my solution. But um, I, mean, I want to ask you to see what you guys say about this. You know, any, uh, any, anybody that's, you know, knows about nitro, knows about bum boxes, anybody that knows anything about it, it's got to know more than me because I this is my first one and I'm it came in a hundred pieces so I'm trying to uh, put it together all right so there was some uh, some different there's a jumper and a, another you know plug cable thing I, I looked at all that and got that figured out and got it down to one uh, one connector for uh, beans all right so here's the issue I'm having all right guys so let me see if I, all right so I got these two wires here uh, one's a positive, one's a negative, and they plug here into the on-off switch. Okay. So then, here, this, these, uh, this is the other end of them. Now, the battery cables are wired into them. Okay, they're spliced into them. This one here, and this one up in here. You know, I can't really explain to you what all is going on here. I know I will heard it correctly, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I really can't break that down for you guys. I'd have to think about it a lot more than I'm really willing to right now. So, all right, so anyway, so we get these plugged into there. Those two plug into the on-off switch. So, and, um, so, uh, all right. Now I get the battery plugged in there. And these two right here, they go over here and these little, see where the two holes are? I got the screws out right now. I'll cut the light on real quick. If I can find it. All right, I don't see, I don't see uh, the little blight. Anyway, there's two holes there. And what they do is when you push the bump box down, it connects, connects them so that, you know, it's like a, a switch. All right, so those two go to that. All right, hold on. So battery there, switch wires there, these two here go to that, and when you push it down, it's supposed to turn it on. Well, what, what's happening is, um, when I plug this and that, which goes to the motor, and I plug them to the motor, and I got the battery connected, I flip the switch, and it just comes on automatically. Um, you know, I don't have to bump it, and that's when I got everything hooked up. So I've done a, a few tests and check, you know, to check some things out. And what I figured out is, um, you know, if I run power through these cables here, uh, it works. If I run power through these cables here, uh, I'm sorry, not power. Um, when I plug the motor into these cables, no, I'm sorry, what am I thinking about? Hold on. This is some really confusing stuff, guys. But anyway, what, I'm, what it's coming down to is I'm just going to not use these two wires here. Because it's like, um, I don't understand, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's like it's already connected. I don't have to do this, but these wires are spliced. I've checked and they're spliced into the power cable and the negative. So I really don't understand. But so what I'm going to do is I'm just not going to use these at all. I'm going to plug these 
or, um, put these back in here where they go and I'll just plug the battery up and when I plug the battery in it's basically on and anytime I bump it it'll, it'll uh, run so that's the way I'm going to do it if anybody can uh, you know help me figure out what's going on you know, explain it to me I would appreciate it but um, alright guys this is a long video sorry about that I'll see you guys soon later